It's time for another Beth's Bed Talks, where we get to talk about sex, relationships, and everything between the sheets. It's not enough to just do it. We want you to love doing it. A lot of times, women don't think that men need to be romanced. I think they're wrong. Men just sometimes need to be romanced a little bit differently than women do. But romance is like, it's mystery and it's excitement and it, it gets us attracted to and drawn to certain people because there's a romantic air, okay? So don't think of romance as just, oh, candles and, and candlelight and sunsets or something. Think of it as the way somebody feels when they're with you. And a man wants to feel special, just like we want to feel special. So how can you make your man feel like he's being romanced, like he's special to you and that he wants to be with you? The first thing, and it sounds so strange, but it's really true. Men want to be heroes. They want to feel like they can fix things, that they can fly in and swoop, that somebody's got so much respect that somebody needs them. Because let's face it, we all actually want to be needed. It's not a bad thing. But sometimes women, we've been raised to be independent and we can take care of ourselves. And so sometimes we think if somebody wants to try and take care of us, if they want to try to be our hero, we take it as, oh, well, I need saving. No, that's not true. But don't, don't let that question your independence and your competency and your capabilities because you are awesome. I know that. Women, we are. We're just, we can take care of ourselves all the time. But sometimes letting somebody take care of us is a really wonderful gift for them and for us. And it, it draws us together. So if your guy wants to be the hero sometime and do something for you, don't say, oh no, I can do it. Say, oh, thank you. That's great. I might be able to do it. I could do it, but it's so nice to have somebody do it for me. I appreciate it. Be sincere. Be interested in who they are. Don't expect it to be all about you, but be interested in them as long as they're being reciprocal, which they should, because why do you want to romance somebody who's not trying to romance you at the same time? That would be wrong. Um, dress appropriately, right? Sometimes when we first start dating, we try to dress up a little bit and stuff for it. But sometimes as a relationship goes on, as our partner has been with us for a few months, a few years, 20 years, a few decades, whatever it is, we stop actually paying attention to how we dress or we start dressing more for ourselves or our comfort rather than actually to visually appeal to them. I don't want you to always worry and cater to them, but sometimes it's really nice. If your guy's favorite color is purple or blue or red, putting on a little bit of something that's got that color and saying, this is just for you, honey. I'm thinking of you and I know that you like when I wear this or whatever it is. Or wearing something that shows off your cleavage or shows off your legs or you wear high heels because your partner likes that. Once in a while, that's such a nice thing and it can make them feel special and know that you are still caring so much about them and trying to keep them interested and involved. Be affectionate, touch them. Men love to be touched. They do. They don't necessarily know how to ask for it, but when we are affectionate without being clingy, it can really feel good. And certainly when you're first meeting somebody and going out on dates, men are oftentimes so worried about being too forward or too aggressive that they're waiting for you to make the first move. So leaning over and putting your hand on his arm or, or grabbing his hand when you're crossing a street and holding hands or something, any kind of affection without cling is going to be a well-received thing and make them feel important and they're going to know that they can reciprocate, which feels good for us. Express your feelings. Don't be afraid to say, I really like you. You're really cool. I, I'm so glad I met you. Or I'm so glad I married you 10 years ago or 20 years ago. You are so, I, you're so talented. Um, whatever it is, don't be, don't bullshit. Just be honest. When you like and appreciate somebody, something about somebody, share it with them. It'll make their day. It's amazing how many gold stars we all really, really want. All right, try new things. Tell your, your partner, this guy that you want, okay, I've never done this, but if you like it, you want to try, I want to do it. I'm willing, I'm nervous, I'm scared, whatever it is. They will appreciate that you are willing to put yourself out there, to push yourself a little bit to, um, to try new things because they want to, because they're trying, they think it's, they want to share their version, their life with you, whatever it is, an adventurous spirit on their behalf is a really good thing. So, and lastly, say what you like. Men will, men want to please us. They really do. But half the time they don't know what we're thinking because nobody's a mind reader. Say what you think. Not all the time. Don't always expect to get your way, but certainly if they ask you, what would you like to do tonight? Or 
what kind of things do you like? Feel free to tell them and be honest because then when they do and they arrange things for us, they feel good. And we say, thank you. Feels awesome. So easy ways. Romance the one you're with because men do need romance. Women, we can give it to them. And it's always, it's a win-win. So love and laughter, it just makes everything in life better, no matter how long you've been with somebody. Add more. I'll talk to you soon. I love being part of your world and bringing you into my bed. Every talk, it's something new and different. So subscribe now to keep up with the latest about mating, dating, sex, and relationships here on Beth's Bed Talks.